Welcome guys to this another math video. In today's video we'll be looking at how to rearrange formulas and all the questions that we'll be looking at in this video were retrieved from some of the most recent CSEC class papers so you want to stick around for that. But before we get into that nice stuff guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get right into the video. Now the first question that we'll be looking at was given on the January 2017 paper 2 exam and it goes like this. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is given as V equal pi r squared h and they want us to make r the subject of the formula. What does that mean? It means that they want us to get r on one side of the equal sign by itself. So let's see here. So the formula is V is equal to pi r squared h and we need to get r on one side by itself now pi r squared h is the same thing as saying pi times r squared times h now the reason why i done that guys is to show that we are multiplying by pi and h which means if we need to get rid of them we must do the opposite of that which is to divide by pi h and if we divide by pi h on one side, we must do the same thing on the other side to ensure that both sides remain balanced or equal. Now, after doing that, pi will cancel pi here, h will cancel h. So we'll be left with v divided by pi h is equal to r squared. Now, we have not yet reached our goal yet, guys. They want us to make r the subject, not r squared. So we need to get rid of this square here which means we need to do the opposite of the square operation, which is the square root. And I'll square root this side, and I also have to square root the left-hand side as well to ensure that both sides remain balanced. Now it's key to note, guys, that the square root sign must be extended over both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. That's a common error that sometimes students make. Now, the square root sign here will cancel the square symbol and I'll continue on this side. I'll be left with square root of V divided by pi H is equal to R and would have successfully made R the subject. Now we have R on one side by itself. So that would be our answer. Now looking at the question that was given on the June 2017 paper, a formula is given as d is equal to the square root of 4h divided by 5. Make h the subject of the formula. So we want to make h the subject. So let me rewrite this formula here. d is equal to the square root of 4h divided by 5. And again, guys, we want to get h on one side by itself. So we need to rearrange this formula until that happens. Now, the square root here encloses the entire fraction. So what I'll do here is to get rid of the square root symbol, which is the square. The opposite of square root is the square. And if I square this side, I must do the same thing to the other side to ensure that both sides remain balanced. And by doing that, of course, the square root sign will cancel the square symbol. And we'll be left with d squared is equal to 4h divided by 5. Next up, we are dividing by 5 here. So to get rid of this 5, we'll multiply both sides by 5. And of course, 5 will cancel 5 here. So we'll be left with 5d squared. 5 times d squared is the same thing as 5d squared is equal to 4h. I'm going to continue on this side here. So we have 5d squared is equal to 4h and what i'll do here is to divide both sides by 4 since we're multiplying by 4 here so we we'll divide both sides by 4 to get rid of the 4 and 4 will cancel 4 here so i'm left with h is equal to 5d squared divided by 4 and this is definitely 
my answer right here. So that's how we make h a subject. Now we have h on one side of the equal sign by itself. Now looking at the question that was given on the June 2018 paper, the quantities F, M, U, V, and T are related according to the formula F is equal to M times V minus U in bracket, all divided by T. Make V the subject of the formula. So this is our formula here. F is equal to M times V minus U in bracket divided by t and what we could do here is to get rid of the t first right since we're dividing by t we can of course multiply both sides by t to get rid of the t and by doing that t will cancel t here so we'll be left with ft is equal to m times v minus u close bracket. Now next up there is a couple of things that we could do here. We could expand this bracket using the distributive law or we could divide both sides by m since we're multiplying the entire bracket by m and that's what I'll do. I'll divide by m to get rid of the m here. So I'll divide both sides by m and m will cancel m here and I'll continue on this side. So we'll have ft divided by m is equal to and because we no longer have anything outside of the bracket we can relieve ourselves of the bracket now and we want to make v the subject so we need to get rid of minus u the opposite of minus in u is to add u and i'll add u to both sides minus u plus u is zero thus we're left with ft divided by m plus u is equal to v and this is our solution here would have made v the subject as we have v on one side of the equal sign by itself now looking at the question that was given on the january 2019 paper and i want us to make x the subject of the formula y equal x divided by 5 plus 3p so I'm just going to rewrite the formula here. Y equal X divided by 5 plus 3P. Now to get rid of 3P here, I could do the opposite of adding 3P, which is to minus 3P. And whatever I do to one side, I must do the same thing to the other side. And of course, 3P from 3P will leave us with 0. So we're left with Y minus 3P is equal to x divided by 5. Now next up we can get rid of this 5 here we're dividing by 5 so we're going to do the opposite of that to get rid of it which is to multiply by 5. Now on the left hand side here guys because the left hand side consists of more than one term we want to put all of that in bracket then we multiply by 5 to show that we're multiplying everything on the left hand side by 5. Next up, 5 will cancel 5 here, and we'll be left with 5 times y minus 3p in bracket is equal to x, and this is definitely our solution here. As we would have made x a subject, we have x on one side of the equal sign by itself. Now looking at the question that was given on the January 2020 paper, and they ask us to make k the subject of the formula 2a is equal to pi k squared plus 3t. So as usual, I'm going to rewrite the formula here. So it's 2a is equal to pi k squared plus 3t. And I'll begin by getting rid of this 3t here. I'm adding 3t, so I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is the minus 3t. And whatever I do to one side, I must do the same thing to the other side. 3t from 3t will leave me with 0 or nothing. And I'll have 2a minus 3t is equal to pi times k squared. Next up, I'm multiplying k squared by 
pi, so I'm going to do the opposite of multiplying by pi, which is to divide by pi. And if I divide one side by pi, I must do the same thing to the other side, ensure that both sides remain balanced. And pi will cancel pi here. And I'll be left with k squared is equal to 2a minus 3t all divided by pi. I'm going to continue on this side. And let me just rewrite what I have here. So it's 2a minus 3t all divided by pi is equal to k squared. Now recall they want us to make k the subject and not k squared. So I need to get rid of this square symbol here. So I'm going to do the opposite of the square operation, which is square root. And if I square root that side, I have to square root the other side as well. And by doing that, the square root symbol will cancel the square symbol and we'll be left with k is equal to square root of 2a minus 3t divided by pi. And this is definitely our answer. And we would have reached our goal there of making k the subject, as we now have k on one side of the equal sign by itself. Now we're looking at the question that was given on the January 2021 paper, and they asked us to make v the subject of the formula p is equal to the square root of 5 plus vt. Now let me rewrite the formula here. p is equal to the square root of 5 plus vt. Now because everything on the right is enclosed by the square root symbol, I'm going to get rid of the square root first by doing the opposite of the square root symbol, which is the square. And if I square one side, I have to do the same thing to the other side. Now the square symbol will cancel the square root symbol and we'll be left with p squared is equal to 5 plus v t and the next thing i'll do here because this is a positive five i'll do the opposite which is a minus five and i'll minus five on both sides to ensure that both sides remain balanced and of course five from five is zero so we're left with p squared minus five is equal to v t now, vt is the same thing as saying v times t. We want to make v the subject. So I need to get rid of this t here because we're multiplying by t. I'm going to do the opposite to get rid of it, which is to divide by t. And whatever I do to one side, I must do the same thing to the other side to ensure that both sides remain balanced. Now, t will cancel t here. And I'll just continue on this side. So I'm left with p squared minus 5 divided by t is equal to v. And this is our solution. Would have reached our goal of making v the subject, as we now have v on one side of the equal sign by itself. Now looking at the question that was given on the June 2021 paper, so two quantities n and t are related as follows. n is equal to the square root of t. And the question here is to make t the subject. All right, so that's what we want to do. So we have n is equal to the square root of t. And to make t the subject means we only want t on one side by itself. So we need to get rid of this square root symbol here. And of course, by now, you know what we ought to do. We'll square both sides as the square root symbol will cancel the square symbol here. And let's see what we'll be left with. t is equal to n squared. Pretty easy. So this is the solution as now we have t on one side by itself. And now we're looking at the final question that we'll be looking at in this video. And it was given on the June 2022 paper 2 math exam. And it goes like this, make V the subject of the formula. So this is what we have, guys. And I'm just going to rewrite this one, guys. So it's W is equal to 5 plus V 
all divided by v minus 3. Now the first thing I'll do here, I want to group this in brackets since the denominator consists of more than one terms. And I want to get rid of the fraction, so I want to get rid of the denominator here. So I'll multiply because I'm dividing by v minus 3. I'm going to do the opposite and multiply by v minus 3. And of course, if I multiply by v minus 3 on one side, I must do the same thing on the other side. Now let's see what will happen. v minus 3 will cancel v minus 3 here. And we'll be left with... I'm just going to rewrite this like this. W times V minus 3 in bracket is equal to 5 plus V. So things starting to look a whole lot better now. Next up, I'm going to use the distributive law to expand the bracket. So let's see what we'll have here. We have W times V. So we have W V minus W times 3 will give me 3 W is equal to 5 plus v. Now there's a key thing to observe guys. We have two v's in this particular equation, right? And what we'll have to do is to group the v's together and let's see how we'll go about that. So I'll continue on this side. So I have w v minus 3 w is equal to 5 plus v. And I'm going to do a couple of things here, guys. And I'm just going to use color coding to help us not to lose sight of or lose track of what I'm doing. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is to minus V because I'm adding V here. I'm going to minus V here. And if I do it here, of course, I have to do it on the other side as well. And at the same time, I'm going to add 3W. To both sides. I'm minusing 3w here, so I'm just going to add 3w here, and I have to add it to the other side as well. Now let's see what will happen after I would have done that. Minus 3w plus 3w is of course 0. v from v is also 0. So we're left with wv minus v is equal to 5 plus 3w and of course guys if you didn't follow that step if you have the privilege of youtube you can always pause and rewind the video if necessary so you can um, get a hang or a better understanding of what was done there now what we can do here is to factor out v recall that um minus v here is the same thing as minus 1v so what i'll do is to factor out v out of this so after factoring V out of both these terms, I'll be left with W minus 1, which is equal to 5 plus 3W. Right? And that was um, the concept of factorization being employed there. Now that we just have 1V being in the equation, the next thing that we could do is to get rid of this bracket here. We're multiplying V by the bracket. So to get rid of the bracket, we want to divide both sides by the bracket, which is dividing both sides by W minus 1. W minus 1. Let's see what happens after we've done that. Of course, W minus 1 will cancel W minus 1 here. And we'll be left with V is equal to 5 plus 3W divided by W minus 1. And this is our answer right here. So we would have reached our goal of making V the subject as we now have V on one side of the equal sign by itself. So thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this one. I hope you found this video very, very, very helpful, right? And if so, guys, let me know in the comment section if it was helpful. And also let me know which topic or topics you'd like for us to look at next on the Chris Mass Academy YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to see you guys in our next video. Until then, blessings and peace.